intersection of a plane with coordinate axis. Find the x, y and z intercepts of the plane 2x plus 3y minus 12 equals 0. Make a sketch of the plane. Now you, have, you will observe that the normal to the plane is 2, 3 and z value is 0. So that is the normal to the plane, right? Now in this case there is no component of normal to the plane and therefore the plane is actually parallel to z-axis. Right? Let's try to find out x, y and z intercepts for this plane. Now for x-intercept y equals to z equals to 0. So if I put y equals to 0 then I get 2x minus 12 equals to 0 or x is equals to 12 over 2 which is 6. Now let's find out what is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept in this case is when x equals to z equals to 0. So x is 0, we get 3y minus 12 equals to 0. That means y equals to 12 over 3. That is 4. So we get x and y-intercepts as 6 and 4 respectively, right? So we can write here x-intercept is 6, that means 6, 0, 0, and the y-intercept is 4, that means 0, 4, 0, right? So these are the two intercepts, and we observe that since normal has 0 component in z direction, the plane actually is parallel to z axis, correct? So let's try to sketch this now. So it does not have any z intercept, right? So there is no z intercept. Let me write down very clearly z intercept none. Since the plane is parallel to z axis, right? Plane is parallel to z axis. So let's try to sketch this plane now. Now that is our x, y, z coordinates and let's find where the x-intercept is. x-intercept is 6, 0, 0. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the point. And the y-intercept is 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the point for y-intercept. We can join these two lines, points with the line. So you'll see this line is contained in the xy plane itself. Right? Now as we notice, since we do not have any normal component in z direction, the plane should be parallel to z axis. So we can draw this plane with lines parallel to z axis as I'm trying to do now. So that becomes the plane for us. Right? Do you see that? That becomes the plane which is parallel to z axis and actually it will cross xy plane in the line shown. Right? So this line here is the line through which it crosses the xy plane. So the plane extends in all the direction as shown and it's like moving up parallel to z axis. Do you see that part? So that is how we can sketch a plane in this condition. So we have this point as 0, 4, 0 as a y intercept and the x intercept is x, 0, 0. And you'll notice that this equation of the line which is contained in the plane is 2x minus 3y equals to 12, right? So that is the equation of the line, which is actually the intersection of plane with xy plane, right? So that is how you can sketch it. So the parallelogram which I have shown here represents the plane and it extends in all the directions as shown, right? So these are the directions in which it extends. So that is how you can represent a plane. So now you have seen two different kinds of examples. If you get all three intercepts, x, y, and z intercepts, then you represent the plane in the form of a triangle. But if you get only two intercepts, then you can represent it as a parallelogram shown here. Correct? So that is how we can sketch the planes, finding intercepts with x, y, and z axis. So hope you learn from here, one, how to find x, y, z intercepts, how to sketch a plane 
and also how to find intersection of a plane with another plane, XY plane or YZ plane, things like that, correct? Thank you.